Okay, so this is going to be a short video, but <clears throat> it's a it's kind of remarkable to me. So um, I was going to make a video about Jazz Three picks. Uh, those are the picks that I like to use, and about the different kinds of them because I have like six different kinds of Jazz Threes that I have. Uh, but instead, I'm going to make a video about the three of my favorites. And there's a very comprehensive video of all the different Jazz 3s that some guy already has on YouTube. So, um, uh, it's been my favorite for a long time, but the Eric Johnson one, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the red, it looks just like the normal Jazz 3. It's nylon, it's a little bit raised, and uh, I guess something about matte finish, it's, a, it's supposed to be slightly different, like the older, um, like the, I guess the way they've made the older, um, Jazz threes. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do a quick lick with this or chord progression. Actually, just for sake of clarity, I'll do it without the chorus. So. So that one's been my favorite for a long time, uh, mostly in part to, of course, the shape, but also the grip. And then they have the John Petrucci models. Uh, wait, this one's a John Petrucci model. Uh, apparently it's made out of Plectrum. I mean, not Plectrum. Uh, Bultex. And, um, and it's also got the grip on it, which, is, which I like. It's got a gloss uh, tip and like a matte, uh, I don't know, knot tip so that you can grab it and it's not going to go anywhere. And then I've been playing those for a little bit and it sounds like this. Alright, sounds good. And then these, I'm pretty sure these just barely came out. These are Oltex called, two, it's a 2.0 millimeter and they're interesting. They've got like a, kind of like a arch to it. They feel like it's thicker on the on the uh, on the thicker part. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Thicker on the part that you hold, and then it slims down, kind of like an arch top, like a like a Les Paul. Um, the thing about this is it sounds remarkably different than both the other two, including the John Petrucci, which is supposed to also be Oltex. Um, this doesn't have any kind of gloss finish on it. Uh, the the, the 2.0 doesn't have a gloss finish and I don't know if that's why it sounds so different but listen in case and for comparison I'll do all three so here's uh, Eric Johnson I mean, it's it's night and day. These, this thing is so bright. Uh, like I, I, I thought it did sound a little bit twangier, but now, like comparing them one by one like that, this does sounds insanely dark when you do this right after it. Uh, it's weird, uh, but I really like this new Ultex 2.0. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they just came out because I, I, I looked them up and they seem like they're brand new, uh, and I love it. It's probably my new staple. Um, it just sound, makes everything sound so bright and, and, and crisp, and like uh, like all the all the all the notes are there. It's almost like getting a great pair of pickups, which I have a great pair of pickups, but somehow this alone, this little 50 cent thing, makes my tone change dramatically. Anyway, 
just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, definitely worth checking out. It's it's pretty remarkable to me how how that uh, changes my tone so 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 drastically, but worth checking out.